going on guys? So as you can see in this vlog, I am in my room. I'm not at Comic Con because a lot of weird stuff happened at Comic Con and I didn't really get to vlog. I hope you liked that video. The editing was a bitch and that is why halfway through it I was like, fuck this beat. Enjoy the video because sometimes, you know, professionally people are like, you should really like time your music with your stuff and you should movie wise that sometimes you can just time beats with things that happen and it's amazing or sometimes just regular internet videos but when you don't realize that you pick a song that has the same consistent beat throughout the whole video and you got a lot of shit you want to show it's not the best thing to do so i hope you guys enjoy that anyways let's talk about comic con one I did not practice vlogging or do anything related to vlogging up until Comic-Con. And it's been months. Maybe a year? No, it hasn't been that long. It's been a long time since I vlogged. And, yeah. it's I don't know about you guys. I'm not... I love vlogging. I love the concept of it because I feel it's more personal instead of an edited video where I'm doing reviews or whatever, blah, blah, opinionated pieces. Vlogs just feel more natural. It's flowy. It's just, just you're going with the flow, man. But um, sometimes in public, I'm like, oh, you know, man, people probably think I'm stupid. I don't want to do this here. And um, I shouldn't feel that way. You think the one place that you would feel really safe doing that would be Comic-Con because everybody there loves something really nerdy and how are they going to judge you for doing something weird, right? But it wasn't the case. That wasn't the case. One, I flew in on Wednesday and it was like busy, busy, busy. Like I didn't have any time to breathe when I was in Comic-Con. I literally flew in, had to drop off my bags at my, at my hotel, which there was like some miscommunication and I was just like, well, where am I going? And then I went to a different hotel and then freaking had to take all the way off to go to the Conan O'Brien show to get my tickets. And then we had to go all, it was just, it was, it was hectic. Like from the moment I got into Comic-Con. Note to self, next year, get there on Tuesday, Monday if you can, because you need the time to breathe. And that's anybody that wants to go to Comic-Con. Do not fly in on Wednesday if you have a lot of shit you want to do. You need to breathe. You need to breathe, guys. You should do that for any vacation, really. Or always, you know, the day before you fly in, get that day off, or the day you fly in, whatever. Fuck it. Anyways, I didn't film a lot of stuff because there was a little bit of drama. Oh my god. There was a little bit of drama in my group. It, I won't say it was so much drama. It wasn't drama at all. I'm going to take that because that sounds very dramatic. Duh. Um, but there was a lot of miscommunication in my group. Uh, some on my part, some on my roommate's parts. It was There was a lot of firsts happening this year for a lot of us at Comic-Con. So the miscommunication, everybody kind of thought like, this person does that, this person knows that, blah, blah. They, it was just really weird. So the first couple of days of Comic-Con were kind of, I don't know, a little intense. So there was a little bit of tension there because people just thought certain things in our group and it's like, we should have sat down and talked about it. But anyways, other than that, Comic-Con was fucking amazing. Um, I met a lot of great people. You guys must, might have saw that video from, you know, a couple weeks back where uh, I shouted out uh, Heidi Matrix because I wanted her to win the, like, Harley because, like, the suicide cosplay contest. Well, she and her brother won. Woo! Thank you guys for anybody that voted. She won, and I got to meet her, and it was fucking awesome. Check out my Instagram to see the photo. But they are lovely people. They are freaking freaking lovely people her and her brother turns out there's also another matrix i don't i don't really know their last name but there is another <clears throat> sister that also cosplays with them and that is awesome a family of cosplayers that is pretty dope um but anyways i didn't meet the sister but i found out that they have a sister on instagram because they do more cosplays like group cosplays it's fucking awesome um i believe they're gonna be doing some for suicide squad anyways they were awesome amazing people i'm so glad they got to win and the rest of the suicide group was awesome too um what else i got to meet motherfucking jeff johns yes <clears throat> i'm sick by the way if you guys haven't realized that and that's why there hasn't been videos i've been sick since vidcon vidcon comic-con blah 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 words and words and things um Yes, so I met Jeff Johns. If you guys don't know who Jeff Johns is, he has written some of the best DC comics out there. He is also now the president of DC Entertainment, basic, and he's the guy that is overseeing all of the movies. This guy is the fucking shit, and I literally, literally, and I'm not using that 
cor incorrectly got to meet him. And it was badass because I was, okay, I was, I want to say literally every time. I was looking at toys. Like I was just, by a chance, a crazy ass chance, I got a ticket earlier in the day that some girl was like, come back after one, we're going to post winners to see if you win these cards. They were like Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad cards. And I was just like, all right, cool. And I was like, uh, I was actually going to go to a whole nother building because I was like, oh, I'll go check that and check the cards later. But I was like, no, nah, no, nah, let me go do the card thing first and then I'll go to the other building. Um, and I go to go check this card thing and I see the girl and I'm like, I should ask her, but let me just chill in the area for a bit because she was kind of busy. I was like, let me look at these toys. So I started looking at these toys and I'm just like, hmm, hmm, hmm. I was like, that one's pretty cool. And then I look to my left and I'm all like, this guy is just standing, he just walks up. He just walks up and he's looking at the same motherfucking toys I'm looking at. And I'm all like, are you Jeff Johns? And he's like, yeah, man. And I'm like, oh, 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 and it was fucking awesome. Like I was starstruck. I was just like looking at him in his eyes, like his lovely, lovely eyes. And I was just like, dude, you're fucking awesome. And like, I was just telling him, I was like, I was literally shocked, guys. Like, I, it's funny. I bet you he could just tell you uh, how I was when I saw him because I was just like, I was like, holy shit. I was like, this is fucking awesome. And I told him how I wanted to be a comic book, uh, you know, writer someday and blah, blah, blah. And he was talking about, he's like, man, never stop writing. He was like, just constantly keep doing what you do. You know, just keep writing, keep writing, make your stories, develop your characters, blah, blah, blah. And it was awesome. Like, it was just so great to meet him. And I took a photo with him and all of that jazz, which you saw in the video. And it was fucking awesome. And then that was Saturday. And then we went to this fancy restaurant later that night and there was a bunch of celebrities in there jim lee if you don't know who jim lee is he's a really awesome dc artist one of the best if you've ever read that comic batman hush that's his art and he's fucking great and uh, he was in there james cameron was in there the dude that made terminator and avatar and then freaking stephen amell the green arrow was sitting in a table across from me and across on my other side was the cast of vikings i don't watch that show but the girl viking is hella beautiful and uh who else was in this damn freaking place oh norman reedus from the walking dead greg nicotero the guy that does all the zombie makeup freaking james dean morgan was in there as well i didn't see him but uh my friend said he was in there and uh freaking um hito oh is it hito kojima is that how you pronounce his name the guy that made metal gear was in there i didn't see him either because i left at this point but all my friends were like yeah dude they were all in there they got i don't they didn't get photos with them but they met him it was insane but i don't know I wish I would have vlogged more and told you guys everything that happened, but hopefully this little bit of vlogginess is good enough. Um, but yeah, Comic-Con was crazy, and hopefully next year I'll be more prepared. I'm going to fly in on Monday or Tuesday for sure next year. It's grand if I get a ticket, because, you know, it's fucking hard to get tickets every year. But, um, yeah, hopefully you guys like this vlog. Um... I'm going to practice vlogging more, and hopefully by next year, I'm just like, What's going on, guys? I'm here with Jeff Jones, and we're the best of friends, and blah, 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 blah. You know, that'd be awesome. But until then, practice, practice, practice. Anyways, let me know if you guys like this video by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for all things nerdy and geeky on this channel. I just said that twice. Uh, but yeah, I don't really have a sign-off for vlogs. I forgot what it was. But as always, I am your host, Juicebox. Remember, when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself something... I've had my daily dose of juice. See you guys next time. Bye!